FMU, you're on the air. Yes. I'm looking for Tom, please. This is Tom. Tom, this is Maurice Kern of Kern Pharmaceuticals. Maurice Kern, wow. Like, the Maurice Kern. Yes, I believe we spoke a few years ago. That That is true. You are the the head of more uh, of of Kern Pharmaceuticals. That's right, among other other companies. Um, uh huh. Listen, Tom. The reason I'm I'm calling you is uh, I, I've gotten wind of uh, of several instances where you have sp have uh, spoken ill of me, Maurice Kern personally, and uh, also Kern Pharmaceuticals and other Kern related companies. Uh, that that is true. I have uh. I guess kind of spoken out against some of the uh, business practices of, of Kern Pharmaceuticals on occasion. Uh, it's it sounds like more than on occasion. The sort of the uh, the straw that broke the camel's back is uh, something that you had said last week uh, to to a, a partner of mine named Hippie Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who was the Hippie Johnny Farm Fresh Food or something like that? Yes. Uh, he said that you were uh, speaking ill of the uh, Hemp Mobile. Yeah, actually, the Hemp Mobile. Well, it was a car that was... I don't even know why. Why was it called the Hemp Mobile again? Because the seats are made of hemp. That's right. It didn't even run on... I, I should say the seat covers. Oh, not even the seats. No, the seats are made of plastic. Okay, so the seats are made of plastic and a low grade foam. Well, it's good. It's good that it's low grade foam. You wouldn't want to use even a uh, middle grade or standard foam. Well, then that. then we pass the savings on to the customer. Yeah, and the discomfort onto the customer. Oh, they're pretty pretty comfortable. Sort of like a they've been likened to the 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 uh, comfort level that you get uh, in a roller coaster seat. Wow, those sound well. Every roller coaster. Some of those are pretty, are pretty, uh, pretty comfy. Yeah, I was gonna say every roller coaster seat I've ever been in is pretty roomy, and uh, you can really just stretch out and get comfortable. Son, have you ever been to Six Flags over Kern? What well, I've been to Six Flags in New Jersey. This is Six Flags over Kern. Kern's a new town that I just opened up in uh, just uh, northwest uh, of Houston. We have a have a Six Flags branch there. It's 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 uh it's it's fun for the whole family. So there's a Kern, Texas. That's now. right, and this is Six Flags over Kern. Yeah, I have not had the uh, pleasure yet. Well, let getting back to to my original uh, I, uh, uh, reason for calling. Like I mentioned, you, word is out that you've been been slamming me and and and, and my companies and. But from what I can gather, you think I'm just a, a heartless man who uh, seizes upon the misfortunes of others, uh, basically to line his own pockets. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. I don't know how you could say that. If if you had done any research in, in into me, Maurice Kern, uh, and and my companies, you would have found a, a whole a whole lot of instances of us uh, gi giving giving heartily and with with great zeal. To the out outlying communities. Re really, like how how is Kern Pharmaceuticals giving? Well, from uh, oh, just off the top of my head, there's uh, our yearly pencil drive for employees' uh, children. And what what is a pencil drive? We give a pencil to each kid. Okay, so how is that a, a charitable? One kid per family, I should say. Oh, so so one kid in each family gets an actual pencil. These are number twos. Yeah, okay. What they call thick point. Okay, so each kid in, in the family gets a number two pencil. That's right. Wow, that, that's uh, that's pretty generous. Like I said, they're really thick, though. Yeah. Well, then there's uh, the Kern car wash. And what is that? Local kids wash our cars, and then we take them to a local uh, sporting event so, uh, a, a, as payment. You take the children to a local sporting that's event? Right. Yeah, that's right. And what what sporting event? Well, like this year, we went to the amateur rodeo in Waco. Okay, so which which a uh... lot of great entertainment there. Uh, uh, Shania Twain played. Sh so Shania Shania Twain? No, played? Shania Twain. Oh, Shania. Oh, so it's 
It's not Shania Twain. Now, who's that? Oh, oh, only the famous person that Shania Twain is looking to capitalize on. I don't know what you're talking about. Shania Twain's the number one in my heart. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad that Shania Twain is number one in your heart because Shania Twain is number one on the charts. Well, I don't know about her. You know who's playing next year? We're going to take him next year, too. Who's that? Alabama. I'm not even going to go anywhere near the fact that that's not Alabama. You've never heard of Alabama? No. Tell me about Alabama. I don't know anything about them, but they're, they're supposed to be real famous. Yeah, again, again, these sound-alike names that you you traffic in. Your, your buddy Hippie Johnny was uh, bragging last week about uh, the, the Grateful Death were playing a show. And, yeah, they uh, played the Kern Pharmaceutical uh, Kids Party this year. Yeah, and the street, uh, String Cheese uh, something, not Incident. Oh, the String Cheese Evidence. Yeah, those are good kids. A couple of those kids actually worked at at at, uh, at, at uh, KP uh, early, earlier on in the uh, in the late nineties. What is KP? Uh, current pharmaceutical. Oh, that's the abbreviation. Oh, you're bright. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty quick, huh? Pretty snappy. I I should maybe hire you. I hear I hear we're looking for uh, janitor trainees. Geez, if I could only pass the test as a janitor trainee. At Kern Pharmaceutical. Well, son, you know what I say. First of all, don't Dare call to me. Dare dream. Dare to, don't call me son, first of all. Uh, how old are you, son? I'm 42. 42? Yeah. I'm, I'm a little older than you. Of course, I made my uh, fifth, fifth, uh, fifth million at uh, age 32. Uh-huh. You, your fifth million. But I don't want to brag on myself. Uh -huh. Let's talk about uh, bucks for boats. Uh, is this another Kern charity? Exactly, yeah. Okay, but what is Bucks for Boats? Basically, we buy uh, rowboats for uh, uh, underprivileged inner-city kids. Uh-huh. You, you row boats. That's right. For an under, uh, like an underprivileged kid. Oh, they row. love it. And are, are any of them close to water? S uh, some, I mean... The idea was that we would take them, uh, you know, out uh, out into the country, to camp. You take the boats into the country. That was the idea, yeah. You mean like into the country down in Texas? Well, that was the idea, yeah. But uh, yeah, we lost the funding for for that part of the uh, drive, uh -huh. unfortunately, unfortunately. Yeah, well, we're still working to uh, sort of make amends with that. Well, why, why why would you have to make amends with something? I mean, you make the you, you, it just sounds flawed from the get go. I don't. So, I mean, well, next thing you're going to tell me that it was flawed that uh, we give ski lessons to those same kids. In, in uh, Texas? In, the, in inner city Houston, yeah. Well, I would say, yeah, that is pretty flawed. I don't see. Well, what if those kids end up getting invited to, to, to Vail sometime? Um, I, I'd, I'd hate to see those kids embarrassed. I'd say that. Not I'd knowing say, how to ski. I'd say that might be unlikely. That kids would get. Uh, I think invited. they get very embarrassed. Yeah, I, I think the odds of them getting invited to Vale probably uh, are, are are slim to none. So I don't think you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess you know you know best. Hey, well, let me tell you about about the big the big one we got going on this year, charity wise. Okay. We're we're totally outdoing ourselves. Okay. We got. We're sending out two million gift boxes for needy kids. Okay. Gift boxes. They're great. They're so great. Uh huh. It, it, if if I'm proud of anything in my life, and I've achieved, I've, I've achieved quite a lot, son. Th this again, is, please don't call me son. Th son, this is the the crown. You, you, you just you just no, you just called me son again. I can't help it. Uh, uh, Okay, I'll call you boy. I can't no, help No, that's worse. You think that boy is worse than son? Yeah, I, I'd say they're pretty much uh, one and one A. Well, I have to call you something that sounds you know, somewhat sub subservient to me. <laughs> of course you do. Um, yeah, so, so go ahead with these uh, gifts you were giving the kids. Well, I, b I believe you were sent one. Um, there, there should be, there should have been one that arrived there either yesterday or, or today. Let me, let me ask, uh, 
my call screener and see if we got one. Chrissy? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Actually, yes, I, uh, we do have a gift box. Thank That's you, right, Chris. Kern never lets down anybody. Well, thank you, Kern. You could, you, you could call me Monk, uh, Uncle Maurice, but I don't know if, if I want you to I, I would be yet. pretty uncomfortable calling you Uncle Maurice. The other two million kids will call me that. Uh-huh. So this gift, I guess I, I got one of them. Open it up. Um... It's just nothing inside. There's paper inside, like cool. ra wrapping paper. There, therein lies the rub, son. It's actually the greatest gift anyone could ever give someone. There's like nothing here, though. How how is nothing the greatest gift ever? Son, you have just opened an imagination box. What 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 is an imagination box? I've given you the gift of imagination. How? How did you just give me the gift of imagination? You, you now can think up anything that you want, son. You mean like I can imagine that there was something in that box? The future, the power is within you, son. That's that's the gift that I've I've given you and I've given to to the so, other two million kids. Two out million. There. So two million kids just got an empty box. They got the gift of imagination, son. That is uh, that. Is, that's the most crass thing I've ever heard. Son, you don't use words like crass with me. I, I just did. It's horrifying. So kids are unwrapping a present that they think is going to be, uh, they're all excited about these underprivileged kids, and they, they find out that, it, it's, <laughs> that they can just uh, imagine what, what could have been in the box. Son, you're talking to someone who, who, who did the very same, who, who, who basically founded the Bootstrap Nation. Well, you founded the bootstrap. That's right. Me and me and all the other like-minded people like myself who pulled themselves up. Uh, oh, geez, uh, uh, two-time President George W. Bush, uh, John Ashcroft, uh, Dick Cheney. Bootstrap. Bootstrap nation. All rich people. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I do know what you're talking about. How much money did you start off with? Uh, excuse me. I don't yeah. think that's any of your business. Well, sir. just give me, just give me uh, uh, just a real ballpark figure. I'll tell you, I was quite poor. What, what is what constitutes poor? I I only had six bills when I started out. Six bills, and what what, what bills were they? Excuse, uh, well, they were million dollar bills. Yeah, so you you start off with six million bucks. But a million wasn't worth a lot back then. A million was worth more back then. I don't know where you're getting your facts, son. Uh, you should stop it's, it's, uh, reading News of the Weird. <laughs> news of the Weird. That's right. Yeah, it's called inflation, and money was worth more then. I don't know what you're talking about, son. Uh, uh, well, I Let's get do back know to it. the box. Yeah, this ripoff that you want two million uh, underprivileged kids to look at as a gift. The children are a future, Tom, and... We don't want them to forget that they oh, are Well, that. thank you for calling me Tom for once instead of son. Oh, what I'm, oh, what okay. happened? A little slip up there? Huh? little slip up. We're actually on equal ground for a second. Oh, so, child, we will never Ch be on equal ground. Child! Okay, so son wasn't enough. You're de demoting me to child. I just go where the force takes me, son. And if it yeah. took me into uh, wanting to squish you like a little bug just then, I apologize. Well, this box, it's like coated... It's a crummy box. It's got like some foil glued to it, like a foil oh, that's coating. The, that's the wrapping. You shouldn't really touch that. No, it's so cheap. I mean, kids are gonna. There's like it's like flaking off already. Son, I would advise you to just stop doing that right now and put the box away, maybe. <laughs> well, no. There's there's actually something underneath this foil. That's why it's covered in foil, isn't it? There's but, actually a. It actually says. Uh, penis cell under there, which is what? That's a, a pharmaceutical, right? Uh, penicillin w was a, 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 a current pharmaceuticals product, yes, uh, that, 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 that is true. So why, this, why? 
Why? Why do you ask? Why, why do I ask? Because uh, why you, you couldn't even get these kids blank boxes. You had, you had to give them... Wait, wait, this is the one that was taken off the market, right? What, penicillin? Yeah. Oh, I think, you know, I, there were some, some problems, I think, with that uh, line. Uh, that, that was, of course, our, uh, can, can I say, uh, erectile dysfunction? Yeah, uh, yeah you, you can. Okay, you just did. And we're, uh... Well, the, yeah, that was, that was a very successful product that we had that uh, uh, we had to take off the, mar of the market to do some retooling. Uh-huh. There were some, uh, some unfortunate side effects that, that started cropping up. Unfortunate? What unfortunate side effects? Oh, nothing major. I wouldn't. You know, I don't even want to get into it, really. Well, no. How, how about we get into it? Why? Why would you give these kids like a? You you take these boxes for a product that's taken off the market? Well, the, yeah. The, like I said, there were some unfortunate side effects. Like, like give give me a couple. Uh, headaches, uh, nausea, cramping, night prowls, chest pains, uh, dizziness, heart oh, stoppage. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hearts, rashes, okay. Rashes. Nasal bad. congestion. Oh, hold on. Okay, that's bad. Heart stoppage. Terrible. Oh, that happens. Now, what was that other one you said in there about night? Uh, chest pains. Yeah, well, chest pains are scary enough, but what? Uh, cramping. Well, no, not cramping. Uh, night? Nausea. Not nausea. Night nausea. You said something about night prowls or something? Uh, yeah, night prowls. <laughs> what? What is a night prowl? Tom, that's a fairly common side effect with a lot of the uh, the ED uh, uh, erectile dysfunction uh, medicines out there. Basically, what happens is a, uh, uh, a male who uh, who's taken the pill uh, gets up in the middle of the night and uh, gets out of bed and climbs down the terrace, goes outside, and uh, basically joins up with other uh, men who are taking uh, the penicillin, and they go what. Uh, they go uh, what uh, we call prowling. And what? What do you? What? How are they going prowling? Like what? What state are they in? Uh, they're sort of. Uh, I don't want to say crazed because that's that's not really what what it is. But uh, thankfully, there there have been no uh, no deaths or anything, as far as I know. Uh huh. Well, what do you What do you mean by crazed? Oh, you know, uh, well, so there's a fine line between crazed and rabid. Uh huh. And I, I want to think that that the uh, patients who t who took this uh, remained on the crazed side Is of the it, line. Yeah. Uh, so that's all. So they were just merely crazed yeah. and not rabid. Yeah. So, like, what did they do? Like, what what were they doing? Well, you know, there's been some bad rumors going going around about uh, about the people that took penicillin early on. Yeah. Uh, basically, a lot of people have, have been spreading lies that that uh, that the people have become zombies. They became zombies. And that's a gross exaggeration, son. It makes me sick to hear someone say that. So they would stagger around like zombies, like from a horror. No, movie. they weren't zombies. Zombies, maybe, but not zombies. Hold on a sec. They were zombies. Yes, that's right. What What is a zombie? Well, a zombie is kind of a monster who who not as extreme as a zombie. A zombie will maim you, uh, but not kill you. Yeah. And you'll get some lacerations, but the the idea that you'll wind up on on, on a coroner's table or or that's just a flat out lie. So 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 the, oh, oh so a zombie will just hurt you. Also. You don't have to shoot a zombie in the head to kill it. You just need to apprehend it and quarantine it for several months. <laughs> so, so guys were taking this drug and turning into like animals that that were kind of wait. First of all, how do you know you don't have to shoot them in the head? Were you shooting people in the head, son? I, I, I'm not at liberty to, to say what goes, you know, what, what exactly transpired during those uh, three and a half years. This but, is just horrifying. But, uh, you know, uh, we've done nothing uh, uh, illegal as far as uh, as so, far as all that is concerned. Yeah, uh, it sounds like there's a lot of illegality. You're getting people getting lacerations and getting maimed. Oh, you know, 
that's just sort of that's what that goes hand in hand with with what every pharmaceutical giant has to deal with. I uh, I've never heard of stuff uh, like this. Oh sure. I just want to say uh, to people, we are, we have Maurice Kern. The the are you the CEO? That's right. The CEO of Kern Pharmaceuticals is making a uh, little appearance here, talking about the uh, the the quote unquote charities that he's uh, in his company, his pharmaceutical company is involved in, like. Uh, but but he sent these boxes out. These boxes are just terrible. They're empty boxes for kids. Uh, the gift of imagination, and the, they're packaged in these old, uh, like, you know, dysfunction pill boxes of a drug that was taken off the market. Why, why did you package them in these boxes? Uh, well, what, just... yeah, there must be some angle. A guy like you doesn't. He play a guy like you plays all the angles. Okay, I'll I'll come right out and then, uh, tell you what, what was happening. Uh, like I said, we had to pull those uh, that product off the market, penicillin, and uh, basically those boxes were buried in what we call the pit. It's about about two, uh, two and a half miles from from Kern HQ outside of Houston. Yeah, what is the pit? Well, that's that's a pla That's the place where we have to uh, dispose of whatever uh, products uh, that have been deemed unhealthy, uh, debt slash. Uh, Detrimental to societal growth. That's where that's where those uh, products end up going. But uh, they were do, deemed too too hot to, to keep there by EPA. Uh huh. Which is another rip off organization, if you ask me. Yeah, the Environmental Protection Agency. That's a rip off organization. Well, they're so under the thumb of all those sickos like Al Gore and Madonna. <laughs> yeah, Al Gore and Madonna. Those two are equal. Yeah, that's you're right. Yeah, I got, yeah, you agree with it. So anyway, we had to dig uh, dig those boxes up and do something with them. Uh huh. They're really not that hot when it all comes down to it. Now, when uh, you say hot, you mean? Well, let me just say you'd get the same amount of rads if you taped uh, seven cell phones to your head for a few months. So it's it's nothing. So hold, hold on, these boxes are radio. These boxes are are radioactive. Like I said, you'd get the same thing if you did that 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 other thing that. So there's like radiation coming off this box. <laughs> I, I wouldn't call. I wouldn't call. It, I'd almost call him call him Rads Junior. Oh, because there's not. It's just like like you said, strapping seven cell phones to your head. That's right. And I've heard people do do that. <laughs> I've never heard of that. You've. Ne I've heard all the kids are doing it now. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Huh? Well, if they're doing it, they're doing it by choice. Not uh, accidentally, like you're giving the, these kids these boxes. They don't know they're getting these uh, boxes just uh, soaked in radiation. But isn't that a fair trade-off for the gift of imagination? Well, no. The, you are just looking for an angle, a way to get these boxes. How much money? What are you saving? Taxes or something on this? I, I don't want to get it into my Yeah, I'll, I'll take that this. as a yes. So this is a way for you to actually make money, giving kids empty boxes that are, uh, you know... So, like I said, soaked in radiations, going out to kids, ripping them off, saying they're getting a Christmas gift. They get the gift of imagination. Hey, son, you, you got to stop talking ill of me, okay? And and he, and I'll tell you why. Why? There's something else in that uh, in that box. Dig dig deep down in there. Hold on. Uh, there's a piece of paper. That's in right. There. Now it's time to even it up, son. Okay. I, I've sent you a prepared statement that I know you're going to agree to read. All right. Because I know you don't want any any lawsuits coming down on you. I'm going to sick my lawyers on you so fast if you don't read this thing over the air. No, why would I even read this thing? Because you don't want my legal team on your butt at, at Christmas, do you? It'd be a real shame if a SWAT team ran into your little apartment on Christmas and repossessed all your presents. <laughs> uh, so you can have a SWAT team repossess my presents. That's right. On Christmas Day. That's right. You're such a creep. I'm just saying, just for a laugh, I'm going to read. Read uh, it. I, Tom Sharpling, hereby apologize for everything and anything I may have said, written, spoke about, or inferred either through literal 
or figurative means of communication, communicative transmission about Kern Pharmaceuticals and all of its divisions and associations. Kern Co., k -Core, Kern Realtors, Kern Summer Camps, Kern Summer Camps for Girls, Kern Burger, Kern School of Magic and Illusion, Kern School of Magic and Illusion Debunking, Citizens for a True Democracy, Patriots for Freedom, Patriots for Democracy, Citizens for Democracy, and Citizens for Freedom, Stand Up and Be Counted, Project X44, and any other not named in said statement were said in a state of extreme mental distress. Well, that's not, I, the, it's not so, true. Son, read on. I am for all intensive purposes. Intensive purposes? Yeah. You mean intense, intent and purpose, like, intense purposes is what you have written here. Yeah, the purposes are, are very intense and very intensive. No, you have intense purposes written here. You mean intense and purposes. That, that's what the saying is. No, it says, I am for all intense purposes, meaning intense and purposes is the word, not in... Okay, never mind. I am for all intense purposes, a person who would and could be ruled as mentally unable to voice an opinion that is in any way, shape, or form anything other than completely wrong. No, no. no. Yes. This is just insane. Keep reading. Wh whatever I say must be taken with consideration to such a mental state. I also wholeheartedly apologize for insulting, demeaning, or devaluing the aforementioned Kern corporations. If I ever say anything remotely negative about a Kern company, I also hereby forfeit my right to any control over my life and to said cor I forfeit any control over my life to said corporation. And my radio show will be owned in whole by a corporation called the Kern Fuqua Radio Family. What is that? That's a new little uh, little uh, corporation. I've got a little company, uh, radio stations. You're talking to the new uh, Rupert Murdoch. Oh, so you're, you're going to just be the new media magnate. That's right. So Kern... Me and Fu my partner, yeah. Uh, who's your partner? Uh, Ron Fuqua. Oh... Ron Fuqua. That's right. Yeah, it figures you're in business with Ron Fuqua. Oh, that's right. You know old Ronnie, don't you? Yeah, we we had we have had run-ins in the past. Yeah, he said you uh, basically ran him out of that station. I, I didn't. I did not run him out of this station. Playing your unfair games. Yeah, my unfair games. I definitely did not run him out of this station. I got a question for you. Yeah. Well, go ahead. How are you feeling right now? Uh, how am I feeling? I'm yeah. feeling okay. A little short of breath? No. A little chest pains? No. How's that old ticker doing? Uh, I think I'm doing okay. Why? Your head feels like it's shrinking, doesn't it? No. No. What are you talking about? Tight chest. Do I have a tight chest? No. Why? What What are you up to? What did you say? Vapors? You want to talk to me? Here, hang on a sec. What, can, what vapors? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, 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 it figures you'd be in business with that sleaze bag. Oh, he's my main dude. Yeah, I'm sure he is your main dude. Look. Hot, hot Rockin' Ronnie. Ra radio's premier wash-up. Oh, man. What a year I've had. Yeah, well, where have you been? Where, where... Uh, well, most recently, my, my last gig was uh, doing a little radio show on a submarine. Wow. What, you, so you were broadcasting for a submarine. You've, you've never lived until you back in an Scenario Speedwagon uh, triple rock block from underneath the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> For a whole 
You were broadcasting to a whole submarine. Yeah, du- double rock block. You can't tell me you ever you ever done a double rock block. That's six songs, man. Yeah, so you're playing you're playing six songs as you're nothing but classics for those for for our nation's finest. As you're you're on a submarine. That's right. Wow. The Coastal Guard. Uh huh. So so that that's where that's the 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 way your radio career has worked out. I'm doing it. I feel sorry for you guys who have to stay on land while you do your shows. It's so sad. Do we have to what? You have to stay on land. Oh, so, so you prefer doing your show from the ocean? Oh, of course. Who wouldn't? I heard you know Stern's doing that uh, satellite radio thing. Yeah. He's going underwater. He's going to do a show from underwater. His whole show is going to be underwater. His uh, he's got a bigger sub than I have, but uh, uh-huh. you know I get I, I hand it to him. So. uh... Why, why don't you name, what was the name of that radio show? Pardon me, uh, K-Sub. K-Sub. Maybe the name of your show should have been The Life Aquatic with Ron Fuqua. I don't get it. It's a reference to a movie. I keep up on a lot of movies. What? What's that movie? Uh, Bill Murray. F- Phil Mur- oh, Bill Murray. Yeah. I like him from Meatballs. Yeah, he's done a couple things since Meatballs, but here, that's the guy. Here, here's my favorite line of his ever. You're Woody the Rabbit. Uh, and I was a good-looking kid. Whatever happened to him? Chris Makepeace? Exactly. Uh, I think he did that movie My Bodyguard after that. Wait, there was a movie called My Bodyguard after that. No, it was called My Bodyguard. What? what the? What, it had, like, different titles for, uh, for different territories? No, no, it was just called My Bodyguard. I was saying he did a movie called, quote... My bodyguard, close quote, after that. How on earth can they, can they fit that on a poster? Fit what on a poster? With all those quotes and stuff. No, you idiot. Hey! No, oh, God, you're I, feel, so I, I, I also feel sorry for you for something else. What's that? That you're not going to make it to Christmas Day. What do you mean? You're getting sleepy, right? No, I heard you mumbling something about vapor. Hey. Tell me about your back. Is it burning? No. Eye pain? No. Leg fire? No. Huh. I feel fine. What, is there something planted in this box or something? No. What are you talking about? Uh, what, what are you talking about? I hear you mumbling in the back the vapors didn't work. Oh, the talk about the vapors, yeah. Oh, that's just... You know how some how friends have, like, little slang terms that they have for each other? You uh-huh. know, like they talk about... One of the of my uh, of our little little routines that we do is uh, uh, talking about um, like uh, va- uh, vapors and people dying from them. One of the slang root. <laughs> it's like a little thing. Yeah, don't you have like vapor talk? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Vapor. Talk. I'm sure if you Google it, you'd find out about vapor talk. You are such a liar. What? You're a liar. What well, are you up to? You're what did to... you think was going on? What are you trying to kill me? Who? What? You. Do what? You're trying to kill me. No, oh, some... man. Sure. You just said I wasn't going to make it till Christmas. Oh, I meant that uh, I, uh, that I was going to take over your show, you know, like I was always joking about. No, no, you're a lot, you're the We've worst. We've had a lot of fun, haven't we? No, well, we definitely haven't. Oh, but sure you're, we have, man. You're, you're the worst so liar. This is, so this was all, you know, this is over, right? What is? What you were talking about that you thought we were doing? Oh, wait, my eyes are burning. Ah. Oh. It's working, I knew it. And my I legs are, it. my legs feel like, my back I feels like it's on fire. Work. I knew it was going to work. Oh, I'm getting these chest pains. He's dying. Oh. He's totally dying. No, I may, you know, you, you, oh, you rat. I just lied about that stuff. What? Yeah, I just lied about it. I just, I just said the symptoms you were naming. And you're just saying he's dying. He's dying. Wait, so you didn't actually have eye pain? No. Or back burns? No. Or leg fire? No. Or tight chest? No. Or head shrinkage? No head shrinkage. I guess we can scratch off heart stoppage. No, your 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 plan didn't work. What plan? Oh, you th- no. 
You thought that was real? Yeah. No, that was... That was... Didn't Maurice tell you about this? It's about, part of our annual Christmas pranks for kids. Christmas pranks for kids? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, how is this... How would that be a prank? We do pranks for uh, on, on kids uh, a lot every year for charity. On kids? Yeah. Like what? Oh, the kids love it. You know, you... You trick someone into thinking that they're getting poisoned. You know, it's, it's basically something we do to a lot of, you know, some of the sick kids. Because, you know, not all sick kids are good people. What? Yeah, this is for the sick kids that are jerks. For the sick kids that are jerks. Oh, they love it. So, so, some, so you do it for some sick kid that's a jerk who, who's like a malicious kid. Oh, there, there's a ton of them out there. You're just, that's the, that's disgusting. Well, you've seen, like, that movie, The Demon Seed? I didn't see it, no. Sort of like that. You know, the kid's just no good. Uh-huh. You, you gotta trick them. In the hopes that they'll turn good before they, you know... Uh. Oh. But hopefully they won't, you know. Uh. Mm. That's terrible. What is? You. So seriously, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Your little thing didn't work. You loved it though. So how much are you gonna donate now for that? For what? For that trick that we that prank. I wouldn't donate a cent to you. So we basic you basically took a, a, a prank and, and are not gonna pay for it. I the didn't. Kid, ask, the kids' parents pay for the pranks. I didn't ask for this prank. Well, you got pranked and you gotta pay up now. I you're lying. Oh my god! There's like a green fog coming out of this box now. Maurice, the fog is working. This guy's gonna be coking, and, and I, I, I can't imagine more than like seven minutes. There's no green fog coming out of the box. Wait, what? You heard me uh, again. I'm lying. You, that was. You're such a liar. I can't believe you would, you would lie about something like that. Yeah, uh, lie about yeah. I green would, fog. You're right. I would lie about. Uh, you lied about green fog. An attempt on my uh, life. Look, son. I'm, I'm Don't taking, you call me son. I'm taking over that show. You'll never get my I'm show. I'm getting your show. You'll never get it, and it's going to haunt you forever. The only thing that's going to haunt, yeah, you know what's going to haunt me? What? Your ghost from when you croak after the, after the vapors really start coming out of that box, and they're not going to be green; they're going to be purple. My ghost. You know the only ghost I see around here? What's that? Is the ghost of your radio show that you used to have on WFMU. Oh, you're turning the knife, aren't you? Uh, you know what? Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to turn the vapor on you. Yeah, you know, yeah. Good, good riddance. The room is filling up, isn't it? No, it's not. You're awful. You're an awful person. I'm coming to get you. You, you've said I'm it before. Steal all your Christmas presents. You've said it before, and you've never done it yet. I'm going to go beyond that. I'm going to steal all your underwear. Oh, you're sick. You're not going to have any underwear. Wow, maybe the least threatening end. I'm going to kill you, and then he's going to steal underwear. Oh, hot rock and Ronnie. Getting out on the end there.